In this video, you will learn how you can connect Asana with Microsoft To Do application. So, to make this connection, you have to connect Asana as the trigger application and Microsoft To Do as the action application of the workflow of our automation. And here you can synchronize these two applications. For example, you can see here in this automation, you will see whenever I'm going to add any task here in Asana in any list, the same tasks will be created in Microsoft to do as well automatically. And you can make this connection using Pabli connect without any coding very easily. Let me show you how. So this is the dashboard of Pabli connect application. We have pasted the same link in the description as well. So guys, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account from here by clicking on sign up free and you will get free automation tasks to set up and test your automation. Okay, so you can sign up right now and then you have to log in to reach here on the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you have to click on this create workflow button to uh, create a workflow of automation. And here in this field, you can give a name to this workflow as well. So I'm giving the name as Asana to Microsoft to do integration okay so after giving the name like this you have to click on create button and you can see your workflow page is getting ready all right and here you can see we have this trigger and action modules so here in the trigger we are going to connect asana and in the action we are going to connect microsoft to do so here let me search for asana here it is okay and here I'm going to search for Microsoft to do here it is okay now it is asking for the trigger event so the trigger event is that event which is going to start or trigger this workflow and here you can see the action event so action event would be the response towards the trigger okay so in the trigger event I'm going to select this new task in a project okay and the action event would be create a task okay so here whenever you are going to add a new task in any project in asana the same task will be created in microsoft's to-do list okay so for that to happen you have to connect click on connect here and connect asana in the trigger from here you have to select add new connection option then click on connect with asana and here you can see we are already logged in so it got connected like this okay and now it is asking for uh, to for asking to select the project's name. So this is my Asana's dashboard and here you can see I have this project you Pabli YouTube So here you can see the project's name got selected here like this. Okay Now when you click on save and send test request, it will start. Let me show you It will start showing waiting for the response. Okay Here you can see it started showing waiting for the response of the connection so this means now we can perform a test submission test submission means now we can create a task in in this project and the details of that task will be fetched here in this response section okay so let me create a task here so this is my uh, project and these are the list i have so let us create a task in this to do list only so click on plus icon add task and here you can give a name to this task so I'm giving the name as let's say video creation. Okay. And here you can add the details as well, like the due date. And this is the due date. And here you can give a, here you can assign this task to any person to your teammates. Okay. So I'm selecting this person. Okay and then you can select the project you can select the priority so this is the priority labels i'm selecting medium you can select the status on track you can provide a description here, here as well but you can see here in your workflow guys the response got already captured here so as you add a, a task here in asana the response got captured here before you add any description okay so here you can see in this response, we got all these details. You can see, you can see the resource type as task. Okay. You can see it, it, it doesn't uh, capture the assignees data. It is showing upcoming. Okay. That means 
assignee is yet to be assigned that means that this task is yet to be assigned to the person but the response got captured here before that and here you can see uh, it is showing the resources labels the priority labels but it is not showing the value of the priority that means the response got captured before assigning the priority as well okay so this is how it is going to uh, work but guys we didn't capture the description we didn't capture the priority and many details that yet to be filled before the response got captured here okay you can see the status is also not got captured the display value is showing blank okay so uh, let us just complete the uh, details here in this task in asana i am adding a small description so here i have given a small description as well and all other things i have added here the due date the priority and the status as well okay so our task is completed here now guys we have fetched incomplete details of the task here so to get the complete details what we can do just click here on this plus icon in between these two steps and another action step will open up from here search for asana again asana again and here we are going to use a different action event okay so here the action event that we are going to use is get a task so when you scroll down you will find uh, this option get a task okay so click on get a task and here click on connect and from here you can select add new connection then click on connect with asana and you will be connected with asana again okay and here it is asking for the tasks id so guys here in this uh, response you can see we have received one id the name of which is let me show you the name of the label so here you can see in this response in the trigger we have received this label events zero resource gid okay so here we got this uh, uh, task id this is actually the task id so you will find this uh, id just before this pro, uh, resource type which is product pro project and this is the task id okay so here i'm going to map this label here in this step like this so to map the label just click here and it will show you the trigger step in the drop down and when you click on it it will show you all the data here like this so here you will find this uh, sorry this is the user id when you scroll down here you can see this is the resource id event zero resource gid just map it then click on save and send test request and it will fetch out all the details of your task like this here you can see it started showing this kind of response here it is showing the creation date and the field id again and now you can see this is the name of the field the option okay and here you will find the values as well so when you scroll down a bit more you can see the value here is showing yellow orange color okay and here it is showing the priority label the description of this uh, option is to track the priority of the task and here you can see the value it is showing the value as medium priority and you can see here that we have given medium priority to this task okay and it got captured here like this now it started showing the priority value and you will find other values as well for the status as also you can see these are the status option details okay and here you will find the status label sorry status value as on track you can see we got the same status here on track and also when you scroll down a bit more you will find the project's name you will find the task name and now you can see this is the description of the task we got here so these are the remaining things that we didn't got in the first step but we but now we have the complete details right so in microsoft to do to create a task let us just first click on connect button and connect microsoft to do from here select add new connection and click on connect with to do and from here you have to provide some additional access to pavli connect so from here click on yes and you will be connected with microsoft to do in a few moments so you can see we are getting connected here so it started showing connected and here it is asking to select the list 
that you have in uh, Microsoft to do. So we have only one list here named as tasks. Okay. So it got selected here already. Now it is asking for the task title, task note, category, priority, status and all these things. So guys, we are going to map all the data from the previous steps only. So you can see for the task title, just click here and it will show the previous two steps. So from this second step, let me map the task title, which is the title of uh, the task that we got here in Microsoft, oh, sorry, in Asana. So when you scroll down, you will find the project's name and this is the name of the task. Map it. Similarly, in the task note, use the same second step and you will find the note, map it. For the categories, you can select any category according to you. And the priority, we are going to map from the previous step. So just toggle this map button to on. But guys, you can see you have to map the labels in lowercase. Okay, this means that is let me show you first the value of the priority that we got here. Here you can see the value is showing medium, but M is here in this capital letter but you have to type the uh, value of the priority in small letters. So I'm going to change the format of this word using a feature of Pabli Connect. Let me show you. Uh, you. You have to scroll down back and you will find this plus icon in between the steps. Just click on it and another action step will open up. From here you have to search for text formatter. Text formatter is a feature of Pabli by, we can, by which you can change the format of the text that you're having here. So in the action event, choose this text basic formatting option. So you can see you can lowercase or upper capitalize any word using this option. Select this, then click on connect. And now it is asking the string that you want to convert. So just click here and from this previous second step, map the priority value. Here you can see the priority value name label is here. Okay. And I want to lowercase it. So this is the lowercase option selected, then click on save and send test request. And here you can see we got the result table in which we got the word medium in lowercase. Now we can map it here. So you have toggled this map button to on erase this field. But you can see it is not showing the previous steps here. Okay, because we have added another step before this step. So to see the steps again, you have to refresh this connection with Microsoft to do. So just click on connected one more time. And from here, keep this existing connection option selected and then click on save one more time and your connection will be refreshed. All right. So we are connected again. And now when you click here, just toggle this priority button to on and click here. Okay. And from this third step, map this result label like this. Okay. And we have all these things uh, fields also you can provide due dates, time zones, reminder as well. Right now I'm leaving these things blank. You can use these fields also if you want. Right now I'm just showing you the demo. So we have mapped the necessary details and by clicking on save and send test request, you can check your connection with to do. This is uh, my Microsoft to do task list. Here, let us check the connection. I'm clicking on save and send test request and a new task will be created in front of you. And here you can see it is showing an error message. And the error is this, that the requested value medium was not found. Okay. So let us see here. So let me toggle this button to off. Okay. So actually in Microsoft to do, you get these three options for assigning priority, low, normal and high. There is no medium option. That's why it is showing you the error code. So not to worry. Uh, let us just use this option manually. But uh, if you got any other label other than uh, medium, the task will be created. So I am just showing you the demo guys. So let me just select this manually. I'm selecting normal here. Okay. So now let me click on save and send test request. And now you can see we got this kind of response here. Let us check in Microsoft to do if we got a new task created and here you can see a new task is created here with the title video creation. So when you click on it, you will find here the description as well. We need to create a small video. So this is the 
same description in the same task title that we got here in Asana like this. Okay. And the same task is created here in to do as well. So guys, here you can see, uh, we have, we haven't mapped this priority label. So this previous step is of no use now. Okay. So you can delete this also. Let me delete it. All right. And now the workflow is complete and we are done setting up an automation or connection between Asana and Microsoft to do. So that's how you can make a connection. And guys, if you want to use this workflow that I have created, you can use this also because I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.